this is FRC 5024's Theme at Home, and today we are going to be making a pop pop boat. What you're going to need is a pair of scissors, a knife, make sure to get an adult's help, a, sh a marker, a ruler, a juice container, a pop bottle, a cutting surface, a hot glue gun, and the straw out of a spray bottle. What we are doing is cutting the pot bottle to make a flat surface for the boiler. The can has very sharp edges, so get an adult's help if you need it. What that we're going to do is cut it into this shape, and you can pause the video to see the measurements if you want. Now we're going to start cutting it. I started by cutting out the 6 by 18 centimeters square, then I cut out the 1 centimeter shoulders afterwards. I folded over the sides that were not cut out. Before completely folding it over, I put hot glue along the seam. To help fold it, I used the back of the marker because the metal and glue were hot. And now do the other side just like you did before. Since we've got the boiler done, it's now time to cut the straw. We're just going to measure it, cut it in half. What you're going to do is put these straws in about a centimeter or so. I needed help with this because of how sharp the edges were. After the straws were in, I glued up the whole edge. So now we are going to blow through this tube and see if any bubbles come out. We got it figured out, see? No leaks. I had to use a candle to reheat the glue. This part took a few attempts and about a stick of glue to seal all the little air leaks. Oh, we got the boiler finished. Now it's time for boat building. I cut the juice container in half so the top of the container will be the bow of the boat. Save the cap to use as a spacer later. So now you've got your boat and your boiler, but what you need to do is get the boiler into the boat. So you also want the tube sticking out uh, from under the bottom. So you cut a slit and put the tubes in and make sure they stick out just a little bit. That's what I found is best in my experimenting. Here you can see how I did it. I glued the straws straight out the back and I glued this slit up so it's watertight. If you notice that the boiler is too close to the candle, you can put in a bottle cap as a spacer. To prime the boiler, you put it underneath the tap and watch the other tube to see if there are any more bubbles coming out. And there are not, so you quickly put it into the water that you're going to be using, put the candle underneath the boiler, and then so if you look, the pop can boiler is sort of inflating and deflating kind of like it's breathing and then if you look in the tube you can see the water rub bubble rapidly moving and that is what makes it go catch us next time on mondays wednesdays and fridays don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on our platforms